This portion is brought to you by... It's probably just human nature. But many street kids touched by Child Hope Asia Philippines would later go back and pay it forward. Working in any capacity within the organization that gave them faith and optimism. And then there are those who not only survive, but are starting their own careers, providing inspiration to thousands of street children. Francis Aquino, or Kiko, was only five years old when he started selling Sampaguita along the streets of Quezon City. It was to add to their mother's income from selling biscuits. Maraming ako na experience ng sangan, nandun yung nahuhuli kami ng mga barangay, DSWD. Eventually, he got used to running from cars and from the authorities. Pumating yung punto na nasagasaan ako ng jeep, nagulat na lang yung mga tao, nasa ilalim na ako ng jeep. Like Kiko, Joey Gacho was exposed early to the harsh realities of the streets. At the age of 10, he earned a living scavenging trash along President Carino Avenue, Manila, and selling them. Nag-ship kami dahil medyo napansin namin na mali yung kita sa pangangalakal. Napunta kami sa, sa pagkakargador, sa Paco Market. Rema Cortez sold flowers on the streets when she was a kid. Other times, she asked for alms or simply played. The streets were her refuge, the place where she finds real people and friends. But it was not without a price. Wala po kayong matulugan. Kasi dati nasunugan po kami noon. Dalawang beses na po. Tapos natutulog po kami sa kalsada. Mayroon po magbihis. Lalo na po babae po ako. Tapos, yung alikabok po, maingay. On several occasions, she and her mother would have nothing to eat, and they would end up incurring more debt. Kiko, Joe, and Rema all learned to fend for themselves in the streets. But surviving is one thing. Having hope for a better life is another. That's when Child Hope Asia Philippines took them under its wings. Sinabi ko sa sarili ko na ano, hindi ako hanggang dito lang. Alam ko may mararating pa ako. Alam ko malayo pa yung mararating ko. With the help of Child Hope and its partners, they were all able to finish college. They were taught not only to cope with the challenges of life on the streets, but more importantly, to help them grow as individuals. Yun yung pag-uusapan ng street educator Tsaka nung social worker, katulong yung bata, ito yung gusto mong mangyari. Ito yung mga gusto mong gawin. Ito yung hakbang na pinlano mo. Halika, tulong tayong dalawa. Gawin natin tong plano mo. Now, Kiko and Joey are street educators with childhood. Rema, meanwhile, is with the accounting department of a hotel. Joey is already married and has traveled and worked abroad as an OFW but his heart would always be on the streets where he grew up. Hinahanap ng katawan ko yung ganitong trabaho, yung mga bata, yung para mo ipagtatanglo yung mga batang nang dirito. Joey has no children of his own, but these kids more than fill the void. Parang anak mo na rin talaga eh, parang guru ka rin. Joey now hopes to become a licensed social worker. As for Rema, her dreams are no longer for herself but for her mother who has fought countless battles for her family. Noon, pangarap ko lang naman na karon lang kami ng pagkain tapos bahay. Tapos nung nakapag tapos na po ako, gusto ko po mabilan ng bahay yung mama ko para po hindi na ganito, na hindi po siya na tutulog. 
Kiko has decided he would continue to offer and dispense hope. The same hope he was given and had clung to many years ago. Hindi ako naghahangad na matutunan ng mga bata ang lahat ng sinasabi ko. Kahit isa lang yung madampot nila. Parang sobrang fulfilling na sa fight ko yung bilang magulang o bilang tatay nila. Kailan sa hangat. And so, the circle of life on the streets continued. They whose lives have been changed, it's their turn now to pay it forward. Hindi ako sa suko bilang tatay mo sa salansangan. Hanggat nandiyan ka, hanggat pasok ka, hanggat kaya kitang turuan, tuturuan na tuturuan pa rin kita. Huwag kang mawawala ng pag-asa. Makakapagbago ka pa. Kahit pa sabihin mong ikaw yung makulit. Ikaw mismo sa sarili mo, nasa iyo yan kung gagawin mo yung kung ano yung tama o mali. Kung kaya ng iba, mas kaya mo. At the end of the day, it may just all be about hope. With government resources stretched enough as it is, it's good to know there are groups like Child of Asia Philippines willing to lend a helping hand, producing well-rounded individuals from the streets and starting a circle of giving. This portion was brought to you by Midas Hotel and Casino a contemporary, design-led lifestyle hotel in the majestic hub of Manila with fabulous views of sunset on the bay. Midas offers designer amenities and guest rooms and suites, supreme restaurant options for sumptuous enjoyment, event studios for corporate meetings and vows, and a casino with world-class gaming. Here at Midas, we make days into moments. Sparkling creativity, it's stylemanship by Midas.